Yeah, everybody, come and see Lex Media Entertainment, the best YouTube channel in the world. We oh, yeah, are subscribe that button right now. African channel number one. Oh, Lex Media. Oh, yeah, Lex Media. See Lex hi guys and welcome back to your number one favorite youtube channel lex media still on your favorite show i am the con a month after its first release organizers of the i am the con show released the last five episodes of the show to the excitement of his loyal fans episode six wrote of the last scene from episode five where the con was on a blind date with miwa and although it was a bit awkward for them at first it got better as time went on. Miwa brought up the very forbidding topic from the first episode. Lekon had carefully avoided that topic in the house, but his date Miwa picked up the wound. She told Lekon that she watched the evolution of his relationship with Erika and some things he said to her stood out. Surprisingly, Lekon did not go so upset with her but explained that what exactly transpired between them after their date Lekon admitted to yomi that miwa was cold and he would like to keep in touch with her is there a future with the both of them what do you think guys shortly after his trip to abuja and enugu Lekon falls ill this was obviously a result of the stress from the activities he had lined up for himself. Thankfully, he had his nurse, Sandra, attend to him at home. Who would have thought that Lekon was scared of taking injections? It was hilarious seeing him jump around his room while his nurse was trying to administer his medication. Now moving ahead, Yomi organizes fan art exhibition on I Am Lekon. To cheer Lekon up, Yomi organized a mini exhibition to show him all the fan love he has been getting. Yomi reminded him that his breakdown was because of all the smiles he has put on his face. Yomi reminded him that his breakup was because of all the smiles that he has put on his fans' face. The next scene was the official presentation of the house Lekon won from the lockdown season. Although he was still ill, he had to make an appearance at the ribbon cutting event. Funny enough, Lekon mentioned that he loves his house being the first anyone sees as they get into the estate. So finally, the Agbeleshe brothers have a meeting concerning their previously planned memorial for their dad. Apparently, they, that event could not hold due to several reasons, including the current pandemic and some important family members' absence. They finally decided to move it forward to the fifth year and have an imam say prayer for him. So guys, moving on to episode 7. In this episode of I Am Lekon, we will see the scenes of Lekon while he is ill. However, unlike in episode 6, he looks a little bit better. Gomez, who is obviously concerned about Lekon's health, comes visiting and asks a huge revelation. He mentioned that he is also a sickle cell warrior with the SS genotype. He also suggested to Lekon that they take the awareness further than social media, especially seeing that they are both in the fight. As expected, Lekon agreed to it. Now, Sore brings good music news. Sore comes in one of the scenes bearing good and bad news, but to Lekon, all the information he brought were music to their ears. Sore said the big event they scheduled was cancelled, but to balance that, there are talks from Gomez and Jackson Fierce on a new EP and singles from Lekon. Now Lekon gets new collaboration. 
this is where we get the backstory of how the Kong got the Baba Fela remix with Mr. Rio. According to the Kong, one of his closest friends, Musty, helped him get the collaboration. They also took us into the BTS of the shoot with Mr. Rio and Zlatan. Oh, wow. Now, Le Kong and Gomez make good on their plans as they visit the National Sickle Cell Center in Surulere. They had a tour of the impressive health facility and get many lectures on how the center has been able to save lives. He also had a conference with the sickle cell champions and their parents. Now in preparation for a new song, Lecon and his PR lady, Terella, meet with popular video director Tan's visuals. They discuss plans for the new music video and here Lecon reveals that he cannot swim. So the beach shoot was a bit scary for him. Thankfully, the plan was never to get in the water. For the obtained time, Lecon finds himself in another fashion mess. This time, his stylist did not get his accurate measurements and ended up giving him outfits that were too big. Unfortunately, there was no belt in sight and the shoot had to be delayed for a bit. Oh no, I feel for Lecon. Wow, Lecon, I mean the show I am Lecon keeps getting interesting and interesting. Now episode 8 of I am Lecon has gotten his fans, I mean the icon and other lovers of the Big Brother Ninja reality show thinking about the best way they can advise him on getting a new and better stylist. The young rapper was preparing to go for a photo shoot but alas, he was delayed because all the dresses provided by his stylist were all oversized and no belt was provided to salvage the situation. For goodness sake, this was not the first time he would be having such malfunctioning situation in his wardrobe. For the sake of his fans, a belt was finally provided so that the Big Brother Ninja Lockdown winner can finish cooking the video he has in the pipeline for his fans. Surprisingly, as if that was not enough, in the same episode, his elder brother and personal manager Yomi had an accident with Lecon's car. The most disturbing part was that there was a standing instruction that the car must not be driven if Lecon was not on board. Now, who is going to break this news to Lecon? While Lekon was getting over the bashing of his car by his brother Yomi, he was vexed again by him for supplying unsolicited information. Now moving on, social media palaver. Yomi brought some not so pleasant news to Lekon about how he was being trolled on social media. You can imagine being bashed after one's car was just bashed. Imagine. This was not just going to be allowed to slide because the god in human body, as he loves to call himself, frowned at the move. He stressed how he just wanted to be off social media for his sanity, only for his brother to interrupt that serenity. Now, respite came during episode 8 of I Am Lecon when he went for a photo shoot for his EP. It was a nice it was nice to see the president of the icons pose for nice pictures. At least he was capable of dosing the tension that filled this episode. Just as if Yomi did not want this calm to last for long, he came up showing Lecon some social media trolling posts, and this time it was severe. Lecon got angry, talked on top of his voice, and walked out of his brother. To calm the situation, he put a call through his mother. Isn't that cool? I heard that women have a way of cooling down things. So guys, this is not the end at all. There is more and there is episode 9. This episode of I Am Lecon shows the dynamics of Lecon's relationship with his brother, as the lock horns. 
Finally, Lecon's house has been pimped and the new look is impressive to all who saw it. Remember that in episode 2 of I Am Lecon, his brother Yomi brought in his friend Alicia to redesign the house when Lecon traveled out of town. In episode 9, the beauty of what Lecon chose was seen and trust that it was classy. Now Yomi has been vindicated after all. He bragged about Alicia's capacity to transform the house. Now, sneaking stunts in I Am Lecon. Call it what you want. Lecon does not care. He just wants to have some fun, so he sneaked out of the house. He was able to convince Sore to take him to a local food joint without the notice of anyone, not even his brother Yomi. The two of them snuck away to join some of Lecon's old friends for a short hangout. However, while they were in the pool of the fun, his label owner, Benga Jackson, called. But the question is now, which of them will have the boldness to pick? Yomi flames up at Lecon. After ignoring Benga Jackson's call, they rushed home only to meet another hurdle. This time with Yomi, who is worried and clueless about the whereabouts of his beloved brother turned celebrity. After the squabble, Lecon makes his way to Gomez's house where he met with music gurus like Bizel and Osage, who gave him some old advice. Old but solid advice. Now Scarlett steps in. Scarlett, on the other hand, took the opportunity to step into the squabble between Lecon and his brother Yomi. Taking the cue from Scarlett, Lecon calls Yomi aside to tender an apology, and that was how the brother made up, but not without Lecon trying to be the unusual, annoying younger brother. Oh my, we're almost at the end. This last episode was a final round up of the season and was filled with flashbacks of noteworthy moments all through the season. Episode 9. Lecon organized a dinner for his close friends and family just before his EP launch. This was an emotional dinner because he spoke directly to everyone at the table. The people in attendance were Sheun, Tarela, Sore, Yomi, Tunde, Gomez, and his wife, Scarlett. In turn, they told Lecon all the amazing things he was to them. It was just a dinner filled with good food and speeches. We also get more clips of the video shoots from video shoots of songs from Lecon's new EP. Finally, the EP launch finally comes out and it is the first of its kind because Lecon had never done a live session before. This brings the I Am Lecon series to the end. Guys, I hope you enjoyed watching our video. If you did, please do not forget to subscribe to our channel so you can get more updates, more gist from I Am Lecon show. So stay tuned to Lex Media and stay safe. See ya!